Hello, primary one. How are you? I hope all of you are doing well. So, today, finally, we are at the last part of the story of Ferdinand. So finally, friends, we will know what happened to our little bull, Ferdinand. Are you curious? Okay, before we continue to the last part of the story, do you still remember where the part we have read before? Yeah, that's right. Ferdinand went into a bullfight. And he entered the arena or the ring for the fight. Hmm, what will happen next? Are you curious? Okay, so let's read it together, friends. The last part of the story of Ferdinand. Here we go. They caught him, Ferdinand, the fierce and all the banderilleros were afraid of him, and the picadores were afraid of him, and the matadors were scared stiff. Ferdinand ran to the middle of the ring, and everyone shouted and clapped because they thought he was going to fight fiercely and butt and snored and stick his horns around. But not Ferdinand. When he got to the middle of the ring, he saw flowers in all the lovely ladies here, and he just sat down quietly and smiled. He wouldn't fight and be fierce no matter what they did. He just sat and smiled. And the banderilleros were mad, and the picadores were madder. And the matador was so mad he cried, because he couldn't show off his cape and sword. So. They had to take Ferdinand home. And for all I knew, he is sitting there still, under his favorite cork tree. Smell the flowers, just quietly. He is very happy. So friends, Finally, that's the last part of the story of Ferdinand. I have some questions for you. Mm, how do you feel, friends, after you read this part? So when finally we have finished reading this story, what do you feel? Are you excited? Happy? Or are you feeling sad when you read this part of the story? When you read the ending, maybe? Please tell me about it. And friends, I also have a question for you. What does Ferdinand feel when he is in the middle of the ring? What do you think? Will he feel scared? Mm, excited, angry, sad, or what? What do you think, friends? Now, I also want to ask you something, friends. If you were a bull like Ferdinand, which one would you like? Would you like to sit quietly at home? Or maybe under a tree? Or do you like to go to a bullfight? Which one will you like? And finally, 
this is what I want to ask you the most. What is your favorite part in this last part of Ferdinand? Please tell me about it. And later, you can also tell me from the Ferdinand part one, part two, part three, and finally this part, which one is your favorite friend and why? So, uh, I want to hear what do you think about the story. So please, you can record yourself in a video, in form of video, or you can record your voice, that will be fine too. Thank you, friends. Thank you, Primary One, for reading the story of Ferdinand with me from the first part until this part. Next time, we are going to have a new story. So please wait for it. Thank you, friends. I hope you enjoy the story. See you.